Welcome to Options and Ideas. Topic. West Bengal Labor Welfare Board, Contributions and Benefits. What is the Labor Welfare Fund? The Labor Welfare Fund, LWF, is an initiative by the Government of India to help and improve the living conditions of the unorganized sector. Out of 36 states and union territories, the Act has been only implemented in 16 of them. Based on this Act, you as an employer need to contribute a certain about on your behalf as well as on behalf of your employee. What are the common benefits of the Labor Welfare Fund, across states? While different states decide how they decide to use the funds, there are some benefits that are majorly common to all. Some of them are mentioned below. Improved Social Security. This fund helps unemployed people or women in subsidiary occupations have a better chance of arranging for medical treatments. Also, workers in the unorganized sector earn higher wages as a result of this fund. Hence, better living conditions that increase the standard of living for a lot of them. The families of workers also receive nutritious food, medical facilities and access to recreational facilities. Improved working conditions. When you as an employer help contribute to the labor welfare fund, you also ensure better working conditions for industrial workers. The state governments use a part of this fund to provide better working conditions for the laborers including transportation to commute to work as well. Scholarships and housing facilities for the workers' families. Under this scheme, industrial workers, especially those working in construction, receive special concessions while applying for housing loans. The children of industrial workers also receive certain benefits like scholarships. They are eligible for it if scored above a certain percentage in their 10th and 12th standard exams. Some scholarships under this scheme are also reserved for the kids who wish to do their MBBS in the future. Who contributes to the LWF and how to contribute? Based on the Labor Welfare Fund Act, both the employer and the employee are liable to make contributions towards the fund. Mostly, the employer makes the contribution on behalf of the employee. You as an employer must make the contribution on behalf of each employee along before paying them their salary. LWF deduction is made and then the employee's salary is paid. In most cases, the employee, employer on behalf of the employee, contributes a certain percentage of their income. The employer contributes double or triple the amount for each employee. Irrespective of the state or union territory you're in, you must register for the scheme within the first 30 days of commencement of business. West Bengal Labor Board The West Bengal Labor Welfare Board is a statutory and autonomous body under Department of Labor, Government of West Bengal, under the West Bengal Labor Welfare Fund Act, 1974 with an objective for promoting activities connected with welfare of labor in West Bengal. The board has the minister in charge, Labor Department as the chairman and has representatives of the employers, trade unions and eminent persons of the society as its members. The board collects contributions from the employees and the employers of the establishments and other statutory revenues under the Act, and promotes welfare measures amongst workers of the state. Coverage All factories, plantations, tramways, motor transport undertakings, commercial establishments, including establishments for public entertainments, registered under West Bengal Shops and Establishments Act, 1963 will come under the purview of WB Labor Welfare Fund Act. Under the provision of Section 9 of the West Bengal Labor Welfare Fund Act, 1974 every employer of factory or commercial establishment or other establishments as defined U, S2, 5, of the Act shall pay by online mode through lwf.wblabor.gov.in at the following rate half yearly basis ending on the 30th of June and the 31st of December every year. Each employee's contribution. 3 rupees employer's contribution in respect of each employee. 15 rupees. For all employees, except those in a managerial capacity earning more than 1,600 rupees per. You have to pay 3 rupees per by the employee and 15 rupees per by the employer. LWF regulations in West Bengal in case your company has 10 or more employees you need to contribute on a bi-annual basis. For the six months ending on the 30th of June, the payment needs to be done on or before the 15th of July. For the half year ending on the 30th of December, the payment needs to be done by the 15th of January. 
penalties for obstructing the inspector's duties in West Bengal in case of first offense imprisonment for a term that can be extended to three months and or a fine that can extend to 500 rupees per for the second or subsequent offenses imprisonment for a term that can be extended up to six months and or a fine which may extend to 1000 rupees per. In any case of only a fine, the fine will not be lower than 50 rupees. Benefits available under different social security schemes State Assisted Scheme of Provident Fund for Unorganized Workers SASPFUW, on attainment of the age of 60 years or in the event of the account becoming inoperative due to death. The total cumulative amount along with interest will be refunded to the workers or to his, her nominees or legal heirs. If a worker is enrolled at the age of 18 and continues as a subscriber up to 60 years of age, he has to pay 10,080 rupees per and may get return of 1 rupee, 52,428, if the rate of interest is 8% per annum. Loans and withdrawal. A subscriber will be allowed one withdrawal of 1,000 rupees per provided he, she has made 48 months contributions and he, she has 2,500 rupees per in his, her credit. Lock-in period. If a subscriber worker does not want to continue as a subscriber under the scheme, he, she may be given final payment of the total balance lying at his, her credit after expiry of the lock in period of three years from the date of his enrollment, with the approval of the concerned advisory committee on receipt of an application in form X from him, her. Revival of an account. The account of a subscriber will be automatically closed if he does not make any contribution continuously for three financial years provided that such account shall be revived by the Regional Labor Welfare Commissioner, RLWC, IEALCW, E, F. Current financial year on an application made by the subscriber stating reasons for such non-payment and found to be sufficient by such RLWC. No arrear contribution shall, however, be allowed. West Bengal Unorganized Sector Workers Health Security Scheme The benefits will be provided in the following manner. Clinical tests. Full cost of medicines. Full cost of hospitalization 1000 rupees per for the first 5 days an additional amount of 100 rupees per day for the remaining days of hospitalization. The cost of medicines and clinical tests shall be admissible if the medicines or the clinical tests were necessary for the purposes of the ailment and were not available in the government hospitals free of cost. Claim from a beneficiary may be accepted for more than once in a year, but total assistance available to a beneficiary under the scheme shall be limited to 5,000 rupees per, rupees 5,000, only per annum. The West Bengal Beatty Workers Welfare Scheme with a view to ameliorating living condition of the Beatty workers in the state, the government of West Bengal introduced a scheme, viz. West Bengal Beatty Workers Welfare Scheme under Labor Department's Resolution No. 658 LW, 2B0207, dated the 23rd of August 2007, detailed scheme. A BD worker is now entitled to uniform subsidy at Rs.20000 per BD worker W. E. F. The 1st of April 2013, in addition to the central grant for construction of houses. The applications received on and after the 1st of April 2013 will be considered for the entitlement of 20,000 rupees per estate subsidy. Bede Labor Department Notification No. 296 LW 2B02-12 dated the 12th of April 2013. This said amount of 20,000 rupees per will be released in two equal installments through the concerned regional labor offices under the Labor Directorate, West Bengal. West Bengal Transport Workers Social Security Scheme, 2010 Benefits of the Scheme, Pension, Pension shall be allowed to a beneficiary who has been a beneficiary under the scheme for a continuous period of not less than five years at the rate of 750 rupees per per month. The amount of pension shall be enhanced by rupees 10 for each completed year as a beneficiary in excess of five years. Such pension shall be allowed after completion of 60 years of age to a beneficiary and shall continue till his death. After the death of the beneficiary, widow, widower will receive pension at the rate of 50% of the pension amount received by the beneficiary before death. Provided that in some exceptional cases due to total permanent disablement of a beneficiary the executive council may allow pension before completion of 60 years of age at the rate of 750 rupees per per month. Assistance on death and permanent disablement. A nominee dependent of a beneficiary shall be entitled to a relief of Rs 1,50,000 only, 
in cases of death of the beneficiary rising out of an accident. Rs 50,000 only in cases of normal death of the beneficiary. Relief in cases of permanent disability rising from any accident will be allowed to a beneficiary in the following manner. Loss of one hand from elbow. 25,000 rupees per loss of one leg below the knee. 25,000 rupees per loss of one eye. 25,000 rupees per loss of total hearing capacity. One ear. 25,000 rupees per loss of thumb. 9,000 rupees per d. Loss of any other finger. 4,000 rupees per for the purposes of this provision in cases of multiple natures of disablement. Relief will be calculated on the basis of total disablement subject to a maximum of 50,000 rupees. No assistance under this provision shall be allowed if such death or permanent disablement was caused by intentional self-injury, suicide or attempted suicide, insanity or immorality or if the member was under influence of intoxicating liquor, drug or narcotic or caused by injuries resulting from riots, civil commotions, or racing of any kind. Medical benefit for major ailments. A beneficiary or any member of his family suffering from serious ailments like TB, cancer, leprosy, cardiac problems, malfunctioning of kidneys, AIDS, or thalassemia requiring hospitalization and treatment may be allowed relief up to a maximum of Rs 20,000 per annum per beneficiary. In cases of major surgery additional relief up to Rs 60,000 only may be allowed. Maternity benefit. A relief of 6,000 rupees per shall be allowed to a beneficiary on successful delivery of a child or miscarriage by such beneficiary or his wife, as the case may be, on the basis of a certificate from a registered medical practitioner provided that such benefit shall not be allowed more than twice. Assistance for purchase of spectacles. An assistance of rupees 500 only will be allowed to a beneficiary once every five years on production of proper prescription and proof of purchase of spectacles. Funeral expenses. Assistance of Rs 3000 would be allowed for funeral expenses in cases of death of the beneficiary. Explanation. Application for such assistance shall be made along with application for relief for accidental, normal death of the beneficiary. Assistance for education of children. One-time assistance for education of children of a beneficiary shall be allowed in the following manner. Higher secondary. 4000 rupees per graduation. 6,000 rupees per post-graduation, 8,000 rupees per engineering, medical, 30,000 rupees per assistance for marriage, an assistance of 10,000 rupees per may be allowed for marriage of the beneficiary and assistance of 10,000 rupees per may be allowed to a beneficiary for marriage of his dependent sons, daughters up to a maximum of two only. Building and Other Construction Workers ACT and West Bengal Building and Other Construction Workers Welfare Board Benefits Available. Accidental Benefit. Up to 10,000 rupees per. Disabled due to accident. Up to 50,000 rupees per. Medical expenses for major treatment, for self-independence, minus 20,000 per year. Medical expenses for surgery, for self-independence, up to 60,000 rupees per. TB patients. Financial assistance of 6,000 rupees per per annum. Maternity benefit. Miscarriage. 6,000 rupees per. Maximum two times. Death benefit of 50,000 rupees. Accidental death benefit. 1 rupee, 50,000. Pension scheme. 750 rupees per per month, minimum. Widow, widower pension. 50% of the pension amount. Welfare activities and schemes cultural functions. Sports and games. Labor welfare activities are carried out round the year through the labor welfare centers. Various cultural functions and competitions, quiz contests, sit and draw competitions, annual sports and games, volleyball tournament, football tournament, carom tournament, badminton tournament etc. are organized by the labor welfare centers at labor welfare center level and at zonal level. Financial assistance to participants in state, national and international level sports and games. The wards of the contributions, who participate in sports and games at state, national or international level, will get 5,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees, and 25,000 rupees respectively. Special programs, zonal level cultural functions, games and sports of the workers and their family members are held at South Bengal and North Bengal zones. 
May Day is celebrated every year at Rabindra Sadin, Kolkata and at North Bengal with the active participation of the workers and their family members. Skill-based computer training and vocational training. Training in sewing and cutting is imparted by the trained instructors in different labor welfare centers. The trainees, who stand first, second and third in the examination at the end of the training course, are awarded with sewing machines. Computer training program known as Lab Web Training Program have been started in seven model labor welfare centers. Distribution at test papers and student exercise books. The board distributes test papers free of cost to the wards of the contributing workers appearing at the Madhyamik examination and HS examination every year. The school-going wards of class 5 to X hailing from the families of contributing workers are given four student exercise books each free of cost every year. Financial assistance to the workers for critical disease. In case of critical diseases like cancer, bypass surgery or kidney transplantation, the contributors and their families members will get 15,000 rupees per from the board as subsidy. Labor Welfare Centers in West Bengal There are 51 labor welfare centers out of which 23 are model labor welfare centers in different industrial areas of the state on board's own land. Each center has a set of TV, magazines, daily newspapers, sports and game equipment. There is an auditorium attached to each model labor welfare center. The largest auditorium with a sitting capacity of 700 persons is attached to the headquarter of the board in Kolkata. The auditorium are basically meant for the workers or their representing trade union so that they may use it at a very nominal rate for holding social and cultural function in it. The auditorium can also be hired by government or non-government organizations for social, cultural or official function. How does a payroll software help implement the LWF rules? There are many overall benefits of using a payroll software. Some of them are helps save time ensures zero calculation errors provides security of data that would not be there in case of outsourcing provides the opportunity for the hr or accountant to focus on other work instead payroll softwares are generally very reliable in terms of delivery of the paycheck and other factors it will help you keep track of the different payroll policies that you need to comply with be it esi tds pf pt or even lwf etc Conclusion The rules of the LWF vary from one state to another. It is extremely important for you to keep track of the different changes in the laws. Yes, the two of them could be different especially with work from home. The Labor Welfare Fund, also known as the LWF is an initiative of the Ministry of Labor, Government of India. It has been implemented for the benefit of the unorganized sector. The fund aims to provide the laborers and their family with a certain amount of social security. The contribution is made both by the employee and the employer. The LWF is managed by separate state authorities. If the LWF is applicable in your state then it is imperative that you contribute. While each state has their own rules for non-compliance, the penalties vary from a fine of 50 rupees per to 20,000 rupees per, up to one year imprisonment or even both depending on the state. Both the employer and the employee are responsible to contribute to the LWF fund. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Our address is Options and Ideas 28L Jeel Road Flat number 1A Ground Floor Kolkata Pin code 70031 West Bengal Website www.optionsandideas.com and optionsandideas.org contact 9330036513